Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm looking outside and it is just about 100 degrees. Eh, well, let's be fair here. 90, 99, okay? <laughs> yep, 99 degrees. All right, what I am doing is just probably something so, so simple. But at one time, was not so simple for me. No, I, uh, I remember having a very teary conversation with my mom about how to bake a chicken. I thought, you know, this is embarrassing. I am 28, 29 years old, newly married. I got married kind of old. And I, um, did that camera just move or is that just me? No, I guess we're good. We're good. Uh, I was, I, I felt like I should have known. I should have known how to do all that. But I didn't. I didn't know anything. And I, I'm telling the truth about my sweet mom. I do love her so much. Y'all know that. You've met her. Um, but she wasn't much of a cook. She really just didn't cook. So, all right. With that, with that being said, now maybe you know a little bit more about what I was going through. This stuff that comes out in the middle, there are many people who love to save it and make a turkey, I mean, make a, a gravy of some kind in there. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Generally, I do not. Maybe I'll just be brave today, I don't know. This is a good size, delicious looking chicken. And yes, um, I do like to wash my chicken off. Just, I don't know, I just do. Get in that cavity there where all that stuff came through. Make sure everything's out. Yep, there's another little thing up in there. Look kinda, didn't look like it was uh, totally out of there. So yeah, there are two bags in there. So be on the look for those, okay? This is gonna be easy, easy. Roasted Chicken 101, my friend, okay? All right, and it's early morning still. It's only about 11, and we don't, we're not gonna eat till about 5, 5.30. So, um, yeah, but I'm just gonna start him, get him all dressed and ready to go, and then I'll put him in my uh, refrigerator and just let him sit there till I'm ready to throw him in the, in the oven. All right, so I am just gonna dry him off as best I can. Nothing is perfect when you're roasting a chicken. I want you to know that straight up, nothing is perfect. The way you like it is, well, I guess that's perfect, the way you like it. Okay, all right, good. This is a good pound. It did not say how many pounds on the package. Can you believe it? It did not say how many pounds, but I'm guessing maybe six. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it for about six. Um, for, for a six pounder. All right, this is my roaster for an every night chicken. See, it's just an oval Temptations pan. It's got, uh, I'd say about a four inch side to it. And it works for me every single time. I'm gonna plop him right in there for the moment. I don't really like it to touch the edges too much, um, but it's gonna be fine for right now. I am not being a fussy chicken cooker today. All right, it's just all going in. I'll be right back, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, this is what I keep a lot of my seasonings in, uh, not all of them, but the bulk of them are in here and I've already taken some out. Um, and I just keep it in my one of my upper cabinets. Um, I have it marked seasonings. And when I go to look, I just pull it out, like I'm pulling a, a drawer, another drawer out or something, and everything is marked right there on the top and I can get my hands directly to it. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do right now. I've gone through all my dry things and um, I'm just gonna kind of decide what I wanna put in here. That's how easy it is. I have something here of uh, chicken seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it all in a bowl right now. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I just feel like uh, changing it up a little bit. A little bit of ground sage. These are the typical things that I put on my chickens. A little bit of garlic granules. Excuse me, I hate that. 
garlic granules. I'm going to go a little bit light on that because I do have fresh garlic. Um, let's see, what else do I want to put in here? What else? What else? Um, a little oregano. You can pretty much go for it here. You don't, there's really no rules, guys, when you're making a chicken. Really no rules. Okay, here's some minced onion, although do I, I do have some um, fresh onion as well. All right, that looks good. And now I'm gonna go for the salt and pepper. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. See, that way I don't have to um, dip back in here when I've already manhandled the, the chicken and, you know, wash my hands a million times. And there you go, you just mix it up and that's your little roasted chicken seasoning. All right, let's add all the other things to it. Uh, here's the onion. This is a leftover onion that I have from the other night. So you bet I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it um, in two ways. Well, I do have to get, no, I'm gonna have to get on, out another onion. Put these things away over here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a paper towel, because this will be a little bit easier on me. And I'm gonna lift it up lift the chicken up using a paper towel and I'm gonna go ahead and put down my little chunks of onion okay just so that I have something to layer the chicken on right just like that okay it's that easy now it's not laying flat on the bottom um, is that the worst thing in the world if that were to happen heck no but I like it to have a little bit of a lift so it's not just sitting there getting all wet and everything. All right, so put him to the side for a moment. Now, um, I went out to my garden. I got some basil and I got some oregano and I got some thyme. Remember, we have that whole cavity in there that we need to fill up. So I have a nice fresh lemon here. And this is what I'm gonna do. And this is all you need to do too. And you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff in. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to wash my hands again. Stuff in, oh boy, the smell of that oregano, thyme and basil and this fresh lemon. Just stuff it on up in there. That's why you wanna get rid of those bags, okay? That is the main reason. So that you have this nice open cavity to layer in all these fabulous, fabulous things. Get my, uh, Paper towel again in here, and another little wet towel over here with some hand sanitizer on it. And I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic, a good amount, you know, I would almost say a tablespoon of garlic, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of shove him up in there. Yeah, this will have a lot of nice flavor. When this chicken starts cooking and steaming, it's gonna be just beautiful. And all those flavors are just gonna come right out of there. Try and get the tips of your of your uh, wings tucked up underneath your uh, your chicken. It just helps. It won't it won't burn up in there while you're while you're cooking that. Okay. All right. So right now, I am going to melt a little bit of butter, and we're almost going to be done. All right. I went ahead and uh, melted a little bit of butter in the microwave, and I think the first thing that I'm going to do right now. It's not too hot. In fact, it's just right. I'm gonna just pour some of this butter right over. And when I say some, you know, if I happen to use it all, that's okay. It was only a quarter of a quarter of a cup, a half a stick. So I can put more in there later if I want. But first of all, I do this for the flavor, of course, most obviously. But secondly, boy, it really helps to um, help all my herbs and the salt and pepper adhere to the chicken. Now, at uh, Aldi not too long ago, if you saw my Aldi haul, you see that I bought this smoky dry rub. Well, I opened it. I've not used it yet, but I did open it. I was just curious how it smelled. Woo! You guys got to get you some of this. If there's any left at Aldi, that's what it looks like. And it is incredible. Here. Take a whiff because it smells so nice and smoky like it's been out on a grill or in a smoker. It's wonderful. All right, so I'm just gonna put some in here. Probably a lot of out. 
good, good lot. Okay, I have no idea how much that is. Oh, probably for something like this, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon to a half of a teaspoon, probably a half a teaspoon, all right? And all I have to do right now is take my little fat fingers. <laughs> hey, I do not have fat fingers, all right? Might be the only thing on me, but I don't have fat fingers. All right, so stop laughing at me. Here go my herbs everywhere, and they're sticking beautifully because of that melted butter that we just poured on there. Make sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies. Yes, you can touch your chicken. And you don't have to worry about going in double dipping with this because you're gonna be using every single bit of it. Yep. Side to side, up and down, in between, wherever you can find a little niche four herbs, put them there, the side of the legs, everywhere. Hey, if you wanna take some twine, kitchen twine, and tie up these legs, even better, but I'm just gonna leave mine just the way they are, because I never, never fool with that. I just don't. Okay, I have a roll of paper towels here that I keep nice and handy when I'm working with chicken. Now, I really don't have to add another thing to this chicken. I do have a little bit of butter left over, and this is kinda, Going to kind of seal the deal here, if you will. Seal all those herbs in place and just add more and more flavor. I found a little bit of extra lemon that I had in my um, refrigerator in the back. I have this cute little lemon container. I have one for green peppers, uh, onion, um, tomato. They're the cutest little things. All right, so here we're just gonna put some lemon right over that. Don't forget the legs, they're very important. People love to eat the legs of the chicken, including yours truly. All right, let me get that seed out of there. And then uh, this last one, and this is it, guys. That is our roasted chicken for tonight. Okay, <laughs> are you guys ready to play in the kitchen with me? All right, well, I am. Here I have some peaches left over from um, just snacking on them and I don't want them to go bad, um, but they're just ready. They are just ready to be eaten. I also have a package of strawberries that I just washed and I have two other packages too. I bought a lot of them because they were um, a really good deal this week. So I thought I'd get those and I want to make something with it, but I thought I would just have some playtime here. So look what I'm going to start with. Yeah, we're going to try this. Now what I really wanted, was the oatmeal, the oatmeal cookie package. But I thought, you know what? I could probably take a sugar cookie package. Now it calls for a stick of soft butter and an egg. Well, we're gonna um, have a little play time with that today. Uh, let me get, hold on one second. Yep. All right, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. I think this is gonna be very, very interesting. All right, there we go. I am gonna add some cinnamon because there's no cinnamon in here. And with peaches, this is kind of like a cobbler, kind of sorta, or a crumb, I should say a crumb, like an apple crumb, a peach crumb. That's what we got going on here today, hopefully. Except, well, there's a lot of exceptions here. This is not your typical topping. And we are going to add um, strawberries because why not? Jeez. All right, I have some um, oatmeal, just some regular plain oats. I'm gonna add those in there. I don't know, let's say about a half a cup. Just guesstimating going on here today. All right, now I'm gonna let that sit for just a second before I do much of anything else. I gotta take care of the fruit, all right? Now see, I don't mind when I have a fruit, um, a fruit thing, you know, except for apples. Apples, I guess, do have to be peeled. So, but I don't mind eating the skin of peaches. All right, so here, let's take some nice big strawberries and I'm just gonna chunk them up. I'm not going to slice them like you would on the, the top of cereal or something like that. Just nice big chunky chunks because this has to cook in the oven. Uh, another thing that I love to add strawberries to, guys, is apple pie strawberry apple pie 
is one of the best things in the whole world. Love it, love it. And I have a video on that. As a matter of fact, I think it's my very first video. And it's a monk fruit apple strawberry pie made with store-bought crust. Maybe some of you have seen it, and if you haven't, um, I do apologize for the quality, but uh, it's a good pie. I still make it today. I still make it. Whenever I feel like I need a little something, but I don't want it to be filled with sugar, that's what I reach for. All right, I'm gonna keep going here with these strawberries. You know, I have asked you guys before, um, especially in my notes, the notes section below the comment section, uh, to send me recipes. If you have recipes that you just love and you'd like to see me make, please send them to me. S send them to me in email. I do not have a post office uh, address as of, as of this video, but um, you can just go ahead and write it out if you want to in an email to me or take a picture of it and send it and I'll see if it's something I, I think I can do. All right, there we go. Peaches and strawberries. You know how good that is right now, right? If you had a fork or a spoon. Uh. All right, so let's hope I'm not destroying it. All right, so we're gonna take this nice little packaged thing here and we're gonna take a stick of butter, but it's not gonna be softened butter. It's just gonna be hardened butter nice and cold from the refrigerator yep. I'm just gonna take this little knife and I'm just gonna cut it up just shave it up into little tiny pieces I'm sure this is the easy way in fact the easiest way I know how to do it which I will just refer to at the moment is to just put it down turn it over, cut it down the middle again, and then just start making little cuts. That way, every time you cut, you get four little pieces. I think I've shown that to you guys before. It's like big deal, <laughs> right? Everybody knows how to do this, but it does help. It does, and get your hands a little dry from the mix and go for it. Just start going for it. It's kind of like making a pie crust. If you've ever made a pie crust, um, yeah, if you haven't made a pie crust, let me know and I'll make one for you someday. They are so easy. You know, um, I, I have said before, I love making uh, pizza crusts because um, you can make so many of them and they freeze so beautifully. Just put them in a plastic bag and uh, toss them. Make sure you mark them. Always mark what it is, pizza crust, and then, um, yeah, put uh, the date, because that's important. Because I promise you, what, what you put in your freezer may look like what it is the first or second day, but a month from now, you go in there looking for something, you'll say, what is this? If you don't mark it, and you'll just end up throwing it out, because you'll be afraid to open it. <laughs> you know, the fear that kind of overcomes you, especially when you're going through stuff in the refrigerator, containers, and you're thinking, what is that? What is that? And my husband and I were kind of funny. He says, he'll say, what is this? And I said, I don't know. Just open it up. He said, mm -mm, I'm not opening it up. You open it up. I say, no, you open it up. You touched it first. <laughs> you questioned it first. Okay. So you open it up. Nasty, nasty stuff. All right, here we go. All right. Well, that's all I'm doing. Okay. That is it. I'm not adding an egg like the package calls for because we are just changing up that recipe. Now, I might and I might not use all this crust. I don't know, but it's going on. Oh, it smells so good. Those peaches and those strawberries smell so good. Make sure you get all those little clumps of butter. Even if you don't use all the cookie, um, the, uh, you know, the dry flour ingredients, make sure you get that butter on there. Mix it up real nice, make little clumps of it like that. That's what I like to do. There we go. Okay. Can make a little tiny. Uh, if this comes out really good, and if there's any left over here, good grief, Darlene, you're using it all. That's okay. 
All right, there, I'm gonna press it down a little bit. Hey guys, we'll see what happens, okay? I'm gonna put this to the side. There's not a whole lot left, honestly. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And I think what I'm gonna do, hold on one second. I have a little extra butter here. Now it is softer, a lot softer, but that's okay. I'm gonna put this right in the refrigerator. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go ahead and bake this right now. About 350, keep a good eye on it. Actually, have your nose prepared really well because this will smell so good before it's really even done. All right, there we go. All right then, I'm gonna put this in uh, the oven at about 325, I think. <clears throat> put it on a baking sheet in case something uh, bubbles over and you don't want that in the bottom of your oven. All right, I will show you all these wonderful things that we're creating in a bit when I come back. All right, let me show you uh, what kind of a side that we're having with dinner tonight. Look at this, look. We pick potatoes, my very own potatoes. I'm so excited, look at the size of that guy. Yeah, these are red, red new potatoes. They're so nice and hard. I'm letting them sit here for a while in this little bowl. And this is only half, probably a little less than half maybe. We still have some more out in the yard there. Way kind of back there by the swing, if you can see it. Um, where the pillows are. Yeah, back in there. There's a few back in there. I don't know what we're gonna get back there because it didn't get a whole lot of sun. But over there on that side, past that tree, like right over there in the ground, um, those are a bunch and they all need to come be picked out, dug up. And I am so, so excited. Last year we had a few potatoes, itty bitty tiny ones and um, yeah, so now this year, it's my first load. <laughs> so we're having those for dinner tonight. Alrighty, looks like our bacon is just about ready. At least to, uh, at the point where I can add the green beans. I do wanna get rid of a little bit of the grease here. I want a little bit in there, but I don't want all of that in here. And this is the best way that I have found get rid of it instead of you know tossing it all in a strainer and having to um, wash it all there now see I want I want what's left in there okay so I'm just gonna take this over to the trash can drop it in and there we go all right and because I want um, leftovers of this and they're just so good I am going to add two cans of green beans. Yes, I wish I had my own fresh green beans, but I don't because something ate them. And I'm just so curious over that. But, hey, I am praising the Lord that we have green beans and bacon. Yeah, I just took the package out, sawed off a little hunk on the bottom or at one end and folded it back up, put it in a plastic Ziploc. And there we go. All right, now this is going to just kind of cook. I would say back of the stove, but I'm just gonna leave it right here. I call these my back of the stove all day green beans. They'll cook for about, let's see, it's four o'clock, hour and a half, and that'll be just fine. Yeah, always give your bacon a little bit of a chance there. And if you wanna add um, spices to this, you can, you know, salt, pepper, whatever that you like, garlic. Um, a lot of times I'll put a little bit of chopped onion, shh, don't tell Lou, in with the bacon. <laughs> And then um, that tastes so good too. So I think I might throw a little bit of um, onion granules in here, okay? And you saw a picture, my own, my own potatoes just boiling away there. I cannot wait for that. I'm telling you, I'm really excited for this, okay? All right, things are coming along. That chicken smells so good.
Well, thank you for joining me today. I had a wonderful time in the kitchen. This delicious meal, I cannot wait to dive into it. There's our yummy roasted chicken, our beautiful green beans with a little bit of bacon, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and there she is. Yes, our own home-picked potatoes. There they are, right there. And I gotta tell you guys, give this recipe a try. It is absolutely spectacular. Thank you for joining me today and spending your afternoon with me. Uh, actually, <laughs> I think I started this video at about 11.30 this morning and it is now five o'clock. All right. All right, well, thank you again so much and uh, I will see you soon. Lord bless.